to another episode of Kensington Unboxed, our video series where we take a look at what's underneath the cardboard of the latest and greatest Kensington products. Today we're going to be unboxing what appears to be a normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill keyboard and mouse. Nothing terribly remarkable about the packaging, although I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that it is 99% recyclable, responsibly sourced, and printed with soy ink. But the boxing is not what we're here for today. You're probably saying to yourself, hey Nick, what's so remarkable about a keyboard and a mouse? I've got a keyboard and a mouse. And to that I say, calm down. The video just started. I'm going to get you there. This is no ordinary desktop set. This is the ProFit washable desktop set. The IP67 mouse rating and the IPX6 keyboard rating means that this thing can not only stand up to cleaning by your favorite solvents, but can also uh, stand up to being submerged in water. For frame of reference, an IP67 has been tested to be submerged up to one meter of water for 30 minutes and still work. Before we get into a little bit more about the cleaning, I want to touch on some of the other really great features about this set. Uh, the keyboard itself is a full-size keyboard. It is 104 keys, 6 rows, and features a numeric pad. And all the keys are lasered etched in, which means that these are not going to fade over time with the cleaning that you do. Uh, the mouse itself is features a three-button scroll wheel. It's ambidextrous contoured for both lefties and righties. And the last really great feature to mention is that it is completely plug and play. There's no software needed. Reliable USB means that you are up and running in no time. Uh, let's take a look at what it now looks like to wash this bad boy and then use it. As I mentioned, this is going to stand up to your everyday custom wiping down. Love that sound. But we're going to take it a step further. Please note, the one area that we don't want to submerge or we don't ever want to clean with water is the USB connector, right? So let's just keep that dry. We've got an extra long cord to make sure that happens. But this mouse can be submerged, washed, get it wet. Sit down. Same with our keyboard. We can get that in there, get it clean, get it all washed off. Make sure we're killing any bacteria, any germs. So it's safe for the next use. Now, let's plug it in and make sure it still works. So we're back, and I've dried the keyboard and mouse set off, but not completely, because again, I wanted to kind of show just how versatile this is, uh, and you know, basically again, let you know this is not some type of trick. Uh, please dry this off when you're done with it, or when you're done washing it, but uh, keep in mind that it will work just fine. We are completely plugged in. Um, one thing I think that's really interesting to note, and I'll, I'll show a picture of this, but this says washable on it. So you will not get this confused with other keyboards that you may have that are not washable. Uh, it's like your grandmother used to say, if your keyboard doesn't say washable on it, it's not a washable keyboard. No? Just my grandma? Okay, that makes sense. Um, so what we're going to do now is basically we are plugged in and I'm going to show you that everything works just fine. Here you can see our mouse move. Let's do some typing. This was just under water and is working like a champ. We can then again demonstrate that our mouse is working just fine. Let's highlight that. Let's do that. So as you can see, we washed our keyboard, we washed our mouse, we've plugged it in and it works seamlessly. Thank you so much for joining us for Kensington Unbox. I'm Nick Shields, your host. If you haven't done so already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any upcoming episodes. We'll see you next time.